Happy Good Friday, everybody. Good morning. We had a good night last night. Just went to a couple more bars after my phone died and had a couple more drinks, nothing crazy. And now we are cooking breakfast. What are you doing, Pachi? What are you making? Eggs. Making some eggs. And we're making some oats. And I might make a little more cinnamon toast, just like yesterday, because she loved it. <laughs> and what's going on today? Oh, we're going to church today at yeah. 3 o'clock. It's Good Friday, like I said. Um, what else do we have planned today? A little gym. Gym, maybe some ice cream. What was that about ice cream? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> maybe some ice cream. Maybe um, go do a little bit of exploring in Sao Paulo. We'll see. Just got to the mall. About to go pump some iron. Uh, what are you working on today? Legs. This way, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Legs. Legs. I am doing. Uh, I'm doing chest and back. It's gonna be a good workout. And afterwards, we'll probably go upstairs in the mall to the buffet to get some delicious snacks or maybe some acai. Fatty. <laughs> so we just finished our workout, and we go to get our little coffee, our post-workout coffee that we sometimes like to do. Normally they come with little chocolates or something like this, but we just found out that this ice cream place, Basio, how do you say it? Basio Gelate. Basio Gelate comes with free ice gelato. Cream. Oh. <laughs> so, time to enjoy our espresso and gelato. Actually, I should be doing Italian. A time to enjoy our espresso and gelato. So good. So we just left church. It is Friday. They did a special Good Friday service. It was in Portuguese, yeah. so I didn't understand any of it, but it's very beautiful to hear and I get the message. It was good. Yeah. Um, and now it's raining a little bit. Pachi says that every single year without fail it rains on Easter weekend. It's true. Every single year. Um, and then so now we're gonna run back to the apartment real quick to pick up my wallet, which I forgot, and then we're gonna go do a little shopping for this one. She needs some Havaianas, like these. I like this. <laughs> uh, go do shopping for that, maybe get some acai. Sound good? Oops. <laughs> hey guys. I'm not good at filming, Pachi sorry. manning the helm. I'm gonna take off. <laughs> so. What are we doing? Eating something really good. Where's the camera? What is it? <laughs> Acai. Uh -huh. This is the best thing about my country, by the way. Acai? <laughs> yes. So, what do we have with it? We have some fruits, which is delicious here in Brazil because it's really fresh. They are actually a little bit sweeter here, I think. Yeah, because it's, it's just good. And this is the Brazilian nut, which is delicious. <laughs> Let's eat. Welcome to the kitchen of Pachi and John. I am demoted to chopping onions while the head chef Patricia Verley dices up some garlic. What's on the menu today, my lady? We are going to do some shrimp, coconut, curry, and that's it. And broccoli. Um, oh, biscuits. We forgot about the biscuits. <laughs> we are doing biscuits for the so, first time, for my first time. My girlfriend is obsessed with biscuits ever since my mom introduced her to them when we went to my house for Thanksgiving. Sure. So we're going to make an attempt at making some. And we also wanted Thai coconut shrimp soup or curry. So we thought, why not put that on top of biscuits? Right? <laughs> why not? We'll see how it goes. So as you can see, I have completed the onions. 
Miss or Chef Verley is cooking them up with some garlic. It smells amazing right now. So aromatic and delicious. Uh, there's the shrimp that we'll be adding to it. She's also started the broccoli. We are heating the oven, which doesn't close all the way, so that'll be interesting to see how that affects the cooking of these biscuits. I am cleaning off this table so that we can try to roll the biscuits out with whatever we can find. Cause so basically this apartment is her only, it's really our kind of only permanent home. We're not here that much. So she lives with two roommates, two friends of hers, and they're not here right now. They're gone for the weekend. But it basically means we just pop in and out once in a blue moon. So we don't really have like this place stocked with cool stuff, but it gets the job done. So we're making it work. What's the next step for cooking? I have some bad news. What? We don't have curry. <laughs> no, we do in the little thing. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah, in the emergency foodie travel <laughs> kit. That's awesome. It actually really has come in handy. We travel with it and works well. All the spices that you need for rare occasions like this. Look, you just screw off the top. You have your garlic, your curry, your cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, all that stuff. Yes! So we got some secret ingredients going on. We got a little honey. Lemon and honey. Actually that's a lime, but okay. in Brazil they call them lemon. Anyway, a little bit of honey in there. That's that coconut milk. Got some garlic, some onion, some ginger up in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells delicious. <laughs> and of course we have the Slumdog Millionaire soundtrack playing because we're making a curry. A curry bear. So, like I said, we are oddly pairing biscuits with this curry. And she's rolling it out with a protein cup shaker because that's all we got. <laughs> and then you're gonna, that looks good and then make some holes with our cookie cutter, <laughs> a.k.a. a glass. I hope it works. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Not so bad. Make them all first. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I think these actually might work. We'll see. My first biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the same as 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can do the knife. You just take these out and then you roll it up and you roll it out again. Okay. And this one here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see what we got going on with the car. So. We got curry boiling. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. It smells so good, y'all. I love curries and spicy foods and Thai food and Indian food and pretty much everything. I'm an eater, as y'all know from this three third day of the blog. Everything is centered around food. Ah, oh, it's adorable. Perfect biscuit. <laughs> Here? Yeah, sure. Cool. John, what are you doing? I have been designated the oven door holder because if you don't hold it shut, it pops open, open like that. Which doesn't work when you're trying to bake things. It should be about done. Let's check it out. Oh my god. They don't look done. Yeah, they do. Try one. More? Let's test one. <laughs> okay, let's break open this bad boy. It's too hot to touch. Little plate. Mm. Well, it looks pretty damn good, actually. Mm. <laughs> Tell me. Not bad. <laughs>
Really? <laughs> and it needs salt. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> and here we are. What do we have, Pachi? We have uh, shrimp coconut curry. Uh huh. We have broccoli. Uh huh. A little of avocado. Uh huh. And biscuits. And biscuits. And a good wine, of course. And we have a Sauvignon Blanc, Gâteau Negro. It smells good. I'm waiting for the cheers. I don't know. Let's see how that is. Okay, let's cheers. Cheers, love. Cheers. Cool, let's eat. So as you can see, it was horrible. We literally ate every speck of food. <laughs> I licked the spoon clean. Mm, it was amazing. I wish I could try it. And the wine's pretty good too. Chills. You did good, babe. That's good. Yeah. Really good. And the biscuits? <gasps> I love it. I uh, know, they're so good. Hey. Sideways videos, woman. Oops. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I don't think this one's gonna make a cut. You gotta look at the camera, you always look at yourself. You like our new music? <laughs> if you can't tell, we finished off the wine bottle and then opened a little champagne bottle and finished that. And now we're just chilling on a Friday night. <laughs>